This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 19th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and wow, do we have an exciting forecast ahead. Let's get right to our sky cams this morning. Here's a look at Tuscaloosa. Beautiful sunrise shot. Another beautiful sunrise shot down in the south part of the state as we look out over the battleship Alabama down at Mobile Bay. And then finally, uh, a look at the uh, Christmas lights at Opelika, and you can certainly see the clouds there. Clouds covering a good portion of uh, the northeastern quadrant of Alabama. The surface low that is creating so many problems for the mid-Atlantic states is uh, just off the uh, North Carolina coast uh, near the Outer Banks. In the upper atmosphere, our, our uh, trough is moving through, and uh, because the trough is still a little to our west, we may see just a little bit of a light rain or drizzle uh, this uh, today as uh, the clouds remain uh, tough throughout the uh, day across the area. Temperature-wise, it's uh, relatively cold across central, Ala uh, central Canada, not Alabama. We're generally uh, above freezing across the state of Alabama. Closer uh, look across the southeastern U.S., and you can see temperatures riding generally in the uh, lower 40s with a couple of upper 30 readings, and I think that uh, for the most part, we're probably not going to see much change. Quick look at uh, surface conditions on the mid-Atlantic states, and you can see lots of rain going on, uh, coastal Virginia and uh, up towards Washington where it switches over to snow, lots of snow up that way. And uh, radar-wise, you can see some of that snow uh, occurring on the radar as well. And a lot of watches and warnings and advisories in effect, uh, all the way from the southern Appalachians all the way up to uh, Massachusetts and, and uh, the Cape Cod area. So certainly a major weather producer for the mid-Atlantic states and up into New England. Uh, across the uh, United States, we're expecting a uh, second storm system that will uh, come about Wednesday that's going to produce about two to two and a half inches of rain in the central U.S. There's still some uncertainty about the track of that uh, storm, and so you know we need to stay tuned to what's going on. You can see that it's clear over Mobile Bay down there, but uh, still some clouds across the northern part of the state, and I think that we'll see uh, clouds hanging tough for much of the day for us. All right, here's the 06Z GFS model run. And uh, you can see our surface low off the uh, mid-Atlantic states, and that's got some wraparound moisture. I think for the most part it'll be in the form of uh, extremely light rain or perhaps a little bit of drizzle. We should dry out, but notice the 540 line plunges down into central Alabama and uh, into southern Georgia on uh, Sunday, so it's going to be a rather chilly day. I suspect we won't see much higher than about 41 or 42 for our highs. The surface high settles in over uh, the northeastern Gulf and, uh, uh, say, the Florida Panhandle on Monday, and that should be one of our better days as we begin to see a little bit of warming. In the upper atmosphere, uh, here comes our next storm system coming out of the southern Rockies and the west coast, and that is going to produce... Uh, a bit of a low pressure system. Now here's the problem folks and that is that there's still some uh, model differences and um, I couldn't find a really good uh, presentation for the European but there's still some differences in the European and the GFS so we'll have to watch this but we'll we'll stick with the GFS. The uh, By Wednesday the 23rd the uh, strong uh, shortwave is coming out of the uh, southwestern U.S., uh, and that is bringing a uh, strong low. Now, right now, that low appears to be over uh, northeastern Texas and extreme southeastern uh, Oklahoma. That low tracks, uh, according to the GFS, uh, across the Mid-South, and you notice that uh, we could have some severe weather, and indeed the Storm Prediction Center is outlooking the potential for some severe weather on the 23rd and into the 24th. So uh, we will be watching that closely, but again, the track of that low is going to uh, determine a lot of things. So we'll be watching how the additional models uh, development, as James says, they, they flip-flop from time to time. Now, interesting pattern develops here as... Uh, the one short wave comes out across uh, West Virginia, but another short wave is going to help to dig the trough that is coming through uh, Nebraska and Oklahoma and Kansas. And uh, that one is uh, uh, going to uh, bring some colder air. As you can see, the 540 line diving down into central Texas. In the meantime, our surface low heads up uh, towards the eastern Great Lakes, but another surface low is going to form off of uh, the coast of Virginia, uh, which is a fairly typical pattern to have happen. 
The overall trough really congeals on the 26th, and that is just plain cold. And right now it looks like, in addition to the possibility of some snow flurries on Christmas Day, we may have snow flurries on the day after. But this kind of pattern is not conducive to any significant snowfalls. This would be mostly in the form of flurries. Uh, and we might even see maybe a little snow shower, which... Uh, uh, you know, that could certainly uh, get everybody all enthusiastic and going. And the cold air stays with us through through Sunday the 27th. And, and indeed, the GFS is still indicating the possibility that we might see some snow flurries even then. So it certainly is not looking like a classic white Christmas, but indeed, we may see some flurries. All right, here's the looking way out into voodoo. This is the 3rd of January, 2010. Gosh, 2010 already. And uh, here comes another short wave coming out of the southwestern United States, and that will be responsible for another low-pressure area. And indeed, this one appears to be, at least currently, I'm sure this will change because this is well into voodoo, this appears to be much further south, and that certainly uh, needs to be watched for the possibility of winter weather developments. Well, I certainly appreciate you tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Certainly exciting times ahead here. Uh, and uh, I wanted to uh, in, invite you, give you a personal invitation to Helena United Methodist Church on Saturday night tonight and Sunday night from uh, 5 to 7 tonight and 5 to 6.30 tomorrow, we're going to be doing our journey to Bethlehem. It's something we do every other year, and this is the year for us to do it. We last did it in 2007. And basically, you walk along the path with various scenes depicted by HUMC members uh, along the journey to the manger. So hope that you get a chance to come out. It's very meaningful, very, um, very personal kind of journey that you can uh, experience at my church. In the meantime, hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.